Retired janitor proves you don't need a massive paycheck to become a millionaire. A janitor secretly amassed an $8 million fortune and left most of it to his library and hospital. As one-time Vermont-based janitor and gas station attendant Ronald Reed demonstrated, you can reach the seven-figure mark on a modest salary. Secretly building wealth until he died at the ripe old age of 92 in June 2014, Reed quietly amassed an $8 million fortune, thanks to savvy spending and investing habits. Similar to the formulas and strategies taught in TradeMoneyATM.com. His family was surprised by his massive wealth. He was a hard worker, but I don't think anybody had an idea that he was a multi-millionaire, Reed's stepson Philip Brown told the Brattleboro Reformer in 2015. Reed came from humble beginnings. He was the first in his family to graduate from high school and served in North Africa, Italy and the Pacific Theater during World War II, according to Reuters. After the war, he came home to work at a gas station and as a janitor at J.C. Penney, married and had two children. Keeping a frugal living he never overspent or wasted money. Friends remember him driving a used Toyota Yaris, using safety pins to hold his coat together and cutting his own firewood well into his 90s. I'm sure if he earned $50 in a week, he probably invested $40 of it, said friend and neighbor Mark Richards. He was also a good stock picker and had the discipline and control to hold stocks for the long run, a strategy investors like billionaire Warren Buffett recommends. Mr. Reed owned at least 95 stocks at the time of his death, many of which he had held for years, if not decades, the Wall Street Journal reported in 2015. Among his longtime holdings were blue chips like Procter & Gamble, J.P. Morgan Chase, General Electric and Dow Chemical. When he died, he also had large stakes in J.M. Smucker, CVS Health and Johnson & Johnson. The lifelong resident of Brattleboro, Vermont, left $6 million of his fortune to his local library and hospital. It was the talk of the town, Brooks Memorial Library director Star Latronica told CNBC of the generous $1.2 million library donation. People still come in and ask about it and reference it. The library invested the bulk of the money. That way, it will continue to pay dividends and support us down the road, Latronica said. The donation also allowed the library to extend its hours and do some much-needed renovations to the 50-year-old building. Reed bequeathed $4.8 million to Brattleboro Memorial Hospital, where he was a regular, not for treatment, but for breakfast. He always had a cup of coffee and an English muffin with peanut butter, Ellen Smith said of her friend's morning ritual at the hospital cafe. That was it. And he always sat at the exact same stool at the counter. The hospital gratefully used the gift to support infrastructure improvements and general modernization projects. You would think this type of story is rare, but we find these inspirational and motivational rags to riches stories daily. Trade Money ATM and CCI keeps trying to spread the message of dollar cost averaging and investing for the long term as simple and easy paths anyone, even a janitor without amazing stock picking skills can follow along and build generational wealth. Don't forget to share this video with anyone you know who may think having a dead-end job is the worst and they do not see a way to create wealth. Imagine what can happen with a simple small repeated investment in the stock or crypto markets. Don't forget us when you become rich. Maybe our weekly investment watchlist can guide you towards companies that can grow your nest egg. Have any companies you want our think tank to research and share our insights, drop us a line as we continue to inspire empower and motivate you along your journey.